Today I want to show you a baby boom of massive proportions. Here you see newly hatched baby caterpillars. And they are the caterpillars of one notorious species known as the gypsy moth, Limantria dispar. They're trying to escape from the edge of their container, so if you're wondering why my finger keeps moving through the camera like this, it's because I have to scoop them up, otherwise they'll escape. Uh, the gypsy moth is a very common moth species in Europe. It will feed on over 80 species of native plants and trees. And what's interesting is these moths are invasive in America. Uh, its origin is in Europe. But somehow these moths have escaped. Actually they have been released by one entomologist in about the uh, 1800s and uh, 1900s. About one, uh, one and a half century ago, one entomologist was looking for alternatives for commercial silk. And stupid as he was, he bred them in his own backyard on a mulberry tree, I believe. And they escaped. And now these guys are doing extreme massive damage to Native American forests. It's, it's incredible how good the species is defoliating trees either way for that reason alone it's a very interesting moth to breed in captivity the larvae have irritating hairs while they're not very dangerous they can still be annoying to breed for that reason alone and they'll eat literally almost anything what's interesting is the young larvae they can disperse in the wind what they do is they go to the treetops and hang by a silk thread which allows the wind to blow them away and transport them. Um, it's also interesting, I'm gonna keep the lid on this now because wow they're really keen to escape. Maybe you'll notice the effect, but these caterpillars are really attracted to light, like really. Maybe you can see, I hope my camera isn't too bad for demonstrating this effect but you'll see that many of them will start to crawl towards the light source and the reason for that here you see some more caterpillars coming in all being drawn to the light source that's because UV light is uh, what, draw, what allows these caterpillars to find the treetops because their vision their sense, their eyesight isn't that great and if in order to find the treetops you have to go up 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 uh, actually basically towards the sun and that's how they orient themselves i'm gonna leave them alone now if you follow my youtube channel you'll see me try and raise as many of these as possible so if i'm lucky that means i'm gonna rear about 200 gypsy moths Thank you for watching everybody and until next time.